Good afternoon. We begin the news at four on the fire watch as the Nethker fire approaches Bergdorf Hot Springs. Evacuations and road closures are in place. We have team coverage to bring you the latest updates on this fire. Joey Prechtel is at the fire's headquarters inside the Payette National Forest and Rick is tracking the forecast. But we start off with a quick overview of the fire's activity today. Brian. Well, we're going to show you what this looks like. We've been saying a lot of these names over the last couple of days that may not register with so many people. We talk about Nethker Fire, Bergdorf. This is what it looks like in relation to the city of McCall. As you can see here on our touchscreen, McCall is here, Payette Lake. Warren Wagon Road actually starts out in McCall, travels around the lake, and goes up past North Payette Lake. And this is where the Nethker Fire is right now. And we get a closer look here. We can see all of the area that it has covered just in the last several days. Now, here is Bergdorf Hot Springs close up here in this little valley and this meadow area that we've been hearing a lot about. That's kind of a built in fire protection for the hot springs and that area there. But this is where that fire is burning right now. It is up to a thousand acres. The good news is it hasn't grown much for today, but it has spread further toward the east. And so what the fire crews are doing right now are trying to protect that from advancing. And you can see how it is closely to how closely it is to the Bergdorf hot springs that is right alongside here and I mentioned Warren Wagon, Wagon Road that has been closed. So has Bergdorf Road and French Creek Road behind that has also been closed. But somewhere along Warren Wagon Road here is where we find Joey Prechtel and he's been there all day and we're going to find out more about the Nethker fire and come back and touch a little bit more on this in just a little bit. But Joey, tell us what you're finding out there at the uh, fire camp headquarters. Well, Brian, as you said, that fire is just burning under a thousand acres and it's obviously very close to the Bergdorf Hot Springs, just around a half a mile away. Crews have been working today to dig lines along the southern and eastern perimeters of the fire to hold it in place. Obviously, one of their main goals today is to protect those structures at the hot springs, as well as the guard tower, as well as the campgrounds. Now, last night, the fire actually burned right up next to Warren Wagon Road. Now, fire crews tell me this happened because of the heat, how dry the fuels were including the trees, the vegetation in that area, and just how strong the winds were as well. Now, because of this, they weren't able to get as much containment as they were hoping for. Right now, the fire is just at 5% containment. Now, today, the fire shouldn't be as active as it was yesterday because of the cooler temperatures as well as the cloud cover. But that doesn't mean that people in CSESH should not be ready to evacuate. And they should be getting set. Um because, you know, fire is a few miles away. It's not imminently threatening uh, their community, but um, there's, there's uh, nothing worse than, you know, not being, not having to plan, not being ready. Now, the main message from fire crews today to the public is to stay away from the Bergdorf area. If you had plans to spend the weekend up there, they advise to make other plans at this time and don't come up to get pictures or video of the fire either. Crews say all that does is it actually prevents firefighters from focusing on the fire itself because now they have to worry about people to make sure that they actually stay a safe distance away. And another warning from fire crews today is that there Flight restriction in place. So what that means is don't try to come up here and fly your drone over the fire just to get video of it or try to get a better view of it. Crews say that creates a major safety hazard for their flight crews, for their pilots, and they actually will have to shut down any and all aerial operations going on that at, at the time to until they know that it's safe again. Brian? Yeah, and it takes them away from the focus on why they're there is to put this fire out. Thank you very much, Joey. I want to go back to our touch screen here, give a little bit more perspective. He mentioned it is close, a half mile to Bergdorf Hot Springs. This is where that fire is burning. All these areas in red, you can see that valley is protected, but it's not that far from advancing here to Bergdorf Hot Springs, which is just right there. Also, some of these other areas of note, you can kind of see some of these other outlined areas inside these fire lines, some natural fire barriers, these meadows inside the forest there. Those have not burned. It's all of the areas around it. So last night you can see how it jumped over Bergdorf Road and move this way. I want to show you this is some interesting perspective here because we've been watching this for the last couple of days. This is what this fire looked like on Monday. We've been watching this burn since Sunday when it started about 220 in the afternoon at 100 acres. This is what it looked like on Monday afternoon. And since then we have seen that fire spread 
and move across the road and moving actually toward the city of Warren or the, the town of Warren, which is up here in the mountains as well, just due east. And so that's where the firefighters are focusing their attention right now is to keep it out of Bergdorf and keep it from spreading further east as it gets to other communities up in the Payette National Forest. Kim?